Hi Pisces, thank you for being here with me today. It is Thursday, May 11th, 2023. Let's see what your tarot cards are today, Pisces, what you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? I'm sorry I'm running late for you guys who catch me right at midnight. Let's see what's going on here, you guys. That's actually uh, feeling like there's a tower showing up again tonight, but we'll see. Something's getting ready to happen. You may be feeling like things are going slow right now with the Four of Swords showing up as your first card. We're going to go through and clarify like we always do, though, you guys. And especially with the Seven of Pentacles, there's a slow-moving energy here. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. It could have something to do with your work, Pisces. But like I said, we'll go back and clarify. Then you have the Page of Cups. The center of your reading is the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords and you have the Sun. Yeah, something's changing here, Pisces. And something that you've been feeling stuck in your head about with this eight of swords where you keep having repeated thoughts and curiosity there's a big curiosity here about something but i'm seeing with the sun showing up this is leo energy something's going to reveal itself to you something that you're curious about something that you've been wondering about where it's leaving you feeling stuck until you find out this particular information. But this is changing. And the, it's going to change things for you when you find out this information. Yeah. It's like you start... This King of Cups, this is your energy, Pisces. And um, what I'm seeing here is you'll start getting to work. All right? Why is the Four of Swords here? You could actually feel tired right now and there's something here that you're waiting for that you're working on. Why is the Four of Swords here? Okay, you have the Four of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money in your pockets to do what you want to do and so there's a waiting period. Make sure you guys can see all the cards. Then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, something that you're working on, Pisces, like I told you. Um, it's... It's in a waiting period here. I keep repeating that. It just keeps coming into my head. I keep seeing like someone here is getting sick and tired of the wait of the slowdown. But I'm seeing here with the Ace of Pentacles, there's some type of information that's going to be revealed to you that's going to make you get to work here. All right. It's going to give you like this huge adrenaline rush where you're just going to feel awake and like, yes, let's do this. Whatever this is that you want to get to work on, 
that you've been holding back on with the Four of Pentacles? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? I mean the Seven of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles, you guys. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, I mean, look at look at this. You have Cancer energy with the Chariot, and then you have the Six of Swords. You want to get going, and I'm seeing here with the Seven of Pentacles. It's all you've already planted your seeds. You already see some growth here. As you can see, it's like she's picking grapes off of the tree here. So um, you, she even has a book right here. Like you could be learning something. And um, this is to move you into calmer water. Move you from a rough position that you're in into calmer water. And this chariot it's like you've already stepped out of your comfort zone you've already been working hard to plant the seeds that you've planted here but something something's going to get going get off the ground for you pisces this is you the king of cups and then you have the three of pentacles here why is the three of pentacles here the Ten of Wands. And then you have the Six of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. Someone here watching me right now, they feel like they're... Like money is an issue with the Five of Pentacles. Like you don't have the money, you don't have the time or the energy. You may not be feeling well. And um, you're just feeling drained. And the reason that you're feeling drained is you have this Ten of Wands right here. So you're carrying a lot of responsibility on your back here, Pisces, by yourself. And so this is consuming your time and your energy here. But, but spirits are telling you with the Six of Wands... This is a victory, success, crossing over the finish line. And it has to do with this Ten of Wands, this responsibility that you're carrying around. Because once this reaches a Ten, it's something, it's like your legs are going to give out here. You're just going to be weak and just say enough. But I feel like you're determined to finish doing what you're doing. And then you're just going to be like, it's enough. It's like you've got to make it to the top of this mountain here that you're climbing with whatever you hold, whatever you're working on. And spirits are telling you here with the Six of Wands that you will be successful. You're going to reach the top of the mountain here. All right. And the thing is, is all through life, it's like once we accomplish one thing, then there's another mountain that we climb. And that's why the Page of Wands is next. I mean, the Page of Cups is next. Because there's there's a whole new adventure here starting. Because I'm seeing you like reaching the top of the mountain with one thing. And it could have something to do with your money, your finances here. Where you're not going to have to be holding back anymore and you'll be able to start and create what you need to because something along the lines of you building a stable foundation spirits are telling you is it's like don't stop you're almost done is what i'm hearing and you could be doing something with the page of cups showing up here it's like you're painting a picture you could do something in the arts but we're going to clarify this. Why is the Page of Cups here? You have the Emperor, Aries Energy. And the Seven of Wands. And the Three of Swords. Which I've already saw this. Why is this Three of Swords here specifically?
Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're this, your energy is showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles. So you're in this very loving, giving, kind energy here, Pisces, where you're working on your money, your stability. There's a lot of growth around you, a lot of accomplishment here in this reading. And um, it, it's like something here hurts, something here is is bothering you with the three of swords i'm seeing like a lot of different wands being pointed at you here like maybe these are bill collectors like you because i'm seeing money here but there's a lot of different wands a lot of different hands being pointed at you and a lot of people coming at you but you're on higher ground here. You're going to win. You've already made it over some mountains here in the background. And um, it's like you've reached this rocky position in your life here with the seven of wands. And it's like you're taking control of this, of this pain. I feel like you have pain in your heart here, Pisces, because it's showing up with your energy. But you're you're in control and on the outside you're showing as emperor energy like you are the boss like you're in control like you have things ironed out here and it may look easy you may make things look easy to other people around you and your energy even that is aries energy the emperor and then you have the ten of swords why is the ten of swords here You have the Five of Cups. And then you have the Four of Cups. And you have the Two of Wands. Here you are at the bottom of the deck, Pisces. I feel like there's someone here that you've given your heart to, Pisces. And I would be careful of a betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. Because I'm seeing you laying flat on the ground and there's like swords in your back. So you didn't see these swords coming to hit you. And someone running away. So it's, it's like a feeling of heartbreak and pain here coming coming off your energy and we have the king of cups and we have the queen of cups on the bottom of the deck so there's like distance between the two of you but i see you here you know wondering what to do because you're going to feel and for some of you this energy is already here you're already feeling this painful ending and you're trying to you're trying to move on and choose a new direction in your life with the two of wands but there's this feeling here of some type of pain that you feel stuck in some type of pain and it's like there's this this energy like someone maybe ghosted you or someone is not acknowledging you with the four of cups it's like there's someone here that just sits here in disappointment as you bring stuff to them so i don't know if this person ghosted you or if this person's in your energy right now but look at how disappointed they are and i feel like you may have walked through the door here all happy and excited to offer them something and it's like they don't even acknowledge it 
But I do have to tell you, um, I'm feeling like there's something sneaky going on here. And I don't know if that's you or if it's them. But you have the Five of Cups here too. So there's this, this pain of something within this connection that has been spilled out. Love and emotion. Something that cannot be replaced. But the Two of Cups, the love is still standing up right behind you. So whatever it is, I feel like it's repairable. But we'll see as we go through this reading. All right, and then you have the Seven of Swords. I really feel like the Seven of Swords energy is you, but we'll see. I feel like you're keeping your thoughts to yourself here, Pisces. You're feeling hurt over something where someone's not acknowledging what you've given to them. They take your kindness as a weakness. They take it for granted. And then you... Okay, so to clarify the Seven of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers and Justice. Libra energy with justice and Gemini energy with the lovers. All right. So there's someone here that you're connecting with on a very deep. This is someone that you love, someone that you care about. And um, I've, I'm really getting that you feel very hurt by this person. All right. And so you're trying to make a choice here at this point in the reading because you feel blindfolded as to what truth is. Because it feels like there's trust that has been lost here. And so you could... For some of you, there's a child showing up here. But we have the lovers too. So there's there's someone here that you could be married to. But... um, Or some of you were married and there's like a separation here. But I'm seeing here that you're keeping your thoughts to yourself. Being sneaky about something that has to do with the home, a marriage, and about you taking a new path, a new direction. Because I'm picking up a sense of loneliness here from you. Like, I mean, you've got to feel like someone is not acknowledging you. They don't appreciate you. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. Or, I'm sorry, this is the Knight of Pentacles showing up. When we look into the future, let's look into the future. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? You have the Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Swords. So really, I'm seeing Pisces, it's like you're wanting to move this is the slowest moving night in the tarot deck. And you're wanting to move towards this wheel of fortune, towards this change. You know justice is here for you and it's your time to, to move up on this wheel. Like someone could be getting a new home. But um, I'm seeing you stop terror before you move on this wheel with the two of pentacles. Because you're juggling. You're trying to keep up with a couple different things at one time. And I'm also feeling like you're you're feeling like you need to make some type of a decision here. About someone that you truly love. That you care about. Um, and so you're really up in your head about, 
about moving on and choosing a new path here because you have a lot invested with someone here. The King of Swords is someone who's just looking at facts of the matter. And so that's what you're doing when it comes to this Wheel of Fortune. And the fact of the matter is, is <coughs> <coughs> sorry, Pisces, someone here is very confusing to you because they're on again, off again energy. They show a cold side and then they show, a, show you a warm side. And so it's very confusing and it's making you feel like sometimes you're all in and then sometimes you're all out. And so it's like it leaves you feeling stuck here. But this is the information that I'm seeing you finding out about here. What we're, What's really going on with a certain situation in your life where you're feeling stuck that's slowing things down. The sun is going to illuminate it. You're going to be released from this energy of feeling stuck. And so here you are at the Two of Swords energy. And if you notice, you're going to hit the bullseye here, even though you're blindfolded. Why is the Two of Swords here? You're Pisces, so you're very, very psychic. You have very strong psychic abilities and I feel like your your heart is telling you to move in one direction with the fool energy and um, this is also Aries energy again too but this is taking a leap of faith towards something that you want and what is it that you want you have the eight of cups why is the eight of cups here Okay. <coughs> Our futures are not set. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. I don't like that when I start coughing during the readings. Um, Our futures are not set in stone. We have free will. So I'm feeling like there's someone here in your energy, Pisces that you have a lot of passion for a lot of attraction with the ace of wands and the solution the answer here will be different for all of you but some of you choose this love with the with the queen of wands and some of you choose to walk away either way you're going to set yourself free whichever your choice is because this choice is going to be eye-opening <coughs> it's something here is going to, is about to be revealed to you where you've been feeling very confused yeah you've really been questioning someone's motives here you may be dealing with a Virgo but you're really doing some soul searching here with the Herma energy. And um, there's someone here that is just an on again, off again energy, Pisces. And so you're looking wide eyed at this person, holding up your sword, going deep within, looking for answers. And this is your true match. So the king and the queen of wands. It's like you're, you both attract each other in some way. So it's like the answer is going to be revealed for you with this Ace of Wands. And so let's see how this turns out, how this is revealed to you when we look into this energy of the sun. Because the sun illuminates everything so that it's clear, so that you can see everything for what it actually is instead of the fuzzy energy that I'm picking up through this reading because you're blindfolded you feel like your hands are tied on finding out information because you really just want to know the truth of some of a situation that you're in because it's leaving you stuck not just within this love but in all areas of your life it's slowing things down 
So let's look into the sun. Why is the sun here? Okay, so you have the three of pentacles, the four of pentacles. You're moving from the three of pentacles to the four of pentacles. And to your energy again here, showing up as the queen of wands. And look at this victory, success, crossing over the finish line. Um, someone here, I feel like there's, there's someone here that has been holding back Pisces that really their heart is in the right place with the six of wands. It's like they notice you, they put you up on a pedestal. They, I even keep seeing this person seeing you as the queen of wands, but this person's kind of held back when it comes to their compliments or how they feel about you and they they feel like they're on again off again but what's going to be revealed to you is I feel like there's some type of information here and it I'm not seeing a specific answer as to how for someone it's like at work But you're going, something's going to be revealed to you where you're not feeling stuck and left out in the cold. And feeling defensive anymore. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is Pisces feeling stuck? The Ten of Swords. There could have been a painful ending between you and someone here, Pisces, that was very difficult with strength showing up. Leo energy. It's like some type of bond of trust was broken within this connection because you have the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords. See? For some of you, this is a karmic wheel, all right, and you have a soulmate here spinning on it with you, and the two of you are, are spinning around and around and around, doing the same thing over and over again, like a beginning and ending, a beginning and ending, a beginning and an ending, and so it's leaving you it's stuck in one position in your life. So even though the energy is pulling me towards the fact that someone really misses someone here um, who is gone or someone here that energetically it's like you just feel like they're not there emotionally, whether they're physically gone or not, it's like it's it's a karmic wheel and you could feel very hurt but you're you're not saying too much to this person tell me specifically why the ten of swords is here For some of you, it's about either your time, your money, your energy, something that you do in the material world for this person, and um, that's what's leaving you feeling the betrayal here and leaving you feeling stuck standing here at a crossroads. So it's up to free will, but there is definitely the sun coming in that's going to make this decision that you need to make a lot easier with the sun i just want to see one more thing i want to see if i can get into some information here a little bit more specifically about what needs to be revealed
why is the sun here? See, I'm getting a lot of cards here. It's because there's so much energy. It's like hard to hold on to the cards. Because the answer will be different for all of you. It's not all going to be the same. I feel like you're in some type of a committed relationship with someone with the Hierophant showing up. And like I said, this could be a marriage. But you have the Magician here, which is really specific. And so I'm going to clarify the Magician. Why is the Magician here? The Queen of Swords. Ooh. You could be dealing with a Taurus with the Empress on the bottom of the deck. But the Queen of Swords here. Wow. There's someone here in your energy. And this could be you. And you'll know if this is you. You are connecting with someone here where there's a committed relationship in some, some way. And um, the Queen of Swords is sitting here looking in the mirror instead of holding on to the sword and what's funny about that is you have the magician is what we're clarifying standing straight up in the correct and right position and the magician is someone who does magic tricks someone who will make themselves look a certain way and that's why the queen of swords is looking in the mirror and i saw you guys showing up as seven of swords energy during your reading and so you could be feeling very angry with someone but you're not showing it outwardly here um, because you could be staying quiet to try to try to find try to learn some type of information because this is spirits are giving us the answer here this hierophant card this is a teacher, okay? And so it's like you're a student here. And so you're sitting back as you're sitting back here looking a certain way, looking like nothing's wrong, nothing's bothering you at times. And in the this magician energy, but you're you're secretly trying to learn some type of information. You could be listening to the way this person speaks to you. There's something here that you're doing where you're trying to manipulate a situation that's going to enlighten you. And I can't tell you specifically what it is other than I see you doing it here looking like everything's fine, not holding up your sword, not fighting no argument here with someone just standing back waiting to see what's going to happen next and this is where you find your answer as i'm looking into your future all right pisces and um sometimes you have to be quiet you know and just listen to the way someone talks and then they give themselves away and for some of you, this person will, and some of you, this person um, will show their, their true heart, that they truly do love you. All right, so I want you to choose card number one, card number two, or card number three, and ask your angels a question. All right, you can choose more than one card. If you choose card number one the answer to your question is it's up to you and that's where I tell you we all have free will to make things happen or to not or to go backwards or to go forward if you chose number two you have helpful people do not be afraid to ask the people around you to help you to ask for help it actually makes people feel good you know if they're able to help to be able to help and card number three no need to worry there's something here that you don't need to worry about all right pisces and let me just grab you a moonology card from the universe for advice advice for pisces 
you have have faith in your dreams and this is waxing crescent moon and this one wants to come out the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn and you have take time to breathe out disseminating moon all right pisces i love you guys thank you for being here with me thank you guys for staying with me till the end of this reading and also thank you guys for taking the time to like and subscribe and for you guys who donated to the channel thank you so much i really appreciate you guys and i will see you tomorrow pisces namaste